Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now if you're new and you like this type of content, consider hitting that subscribe button and giving this video a like. It truly does help the channel out. We are on the road to 400 subscribers, you guys, and we're almost there. So today's Netflix review is going to be Princess Switch romancing the stars or princess switch three now i did not review princess switch which is the first part but i did review princess switch switched again i'll have that up here if you want to hear my thoughts on that one now we don't get a fourth vanessa hudgens in this part we do stick with the three vanessa hudgens which is queen margaret we have uh, princess stacy and then of course fiona who was introduced in princess switch switched again now in princess switch Romancing the Stars. This is basically the Fiona Pinbrook movie. I feel like she has so much fun with this very wild, like extravagant cousin. Ooh, Maggie Moo Moo. It's just a lot, you guys, but it's a lot of fun. Um, now, before I do continue on with this review, if you are someone who just does not like these like cheesy Christmas movies, or if you just were not a fan of the first two Princess Switch movies, then you're not gonna enjoy this movie. I'm just gonna let you guys know straight off the back down. I'm not gonna lie to you. Now, at the end of this video, I will rank all three movies and I'll let you know where, you know, this one stands within the uh, trilogy. I won't do, a, I won't do a, se a separate video for that. Now, the shenanigans that happen in this story here, it's a lot, you guys. I really thought we were gonna get a royal baby. I honestly thought that if we have another movie, we're gonna have them pregnant and I don't know what they're gonna do. Maybe both of them are gonna be pregnant. Maybe the kids could switch at birth i don't know is there gonna be a fourth part i i don't know you guys i i should have probably looked into it i don't know if this is the end if we're gonna continue on is vanessa hutch is gonna continue on with you know this i feel like she does really good christmas movies okay you guys because i enjoy the princess switch movie that's why i continue to watch them i also like that other cheesy christmas netflix movie uh what's it called the night before christmas i don't know you guys i like cheesy Christmas movies. It's like the time of year. Like that is what you want. These freaking like Hallmark cheesy ass Christmas movies that everything gets resolved. Everybody has a happily ever after at the end. Whatever. Shoot me. If you are, again, if you are not into those type of movies, then don't watch it. Simple as that. If you don't get cheesy from just the title itself, then that should kind of tell you the the type of movie you're gonna get into with romancing the star. Again, we are in royalty. We are in, I don't know, whatever land we're in. I don't know if it's like a real place or it's a make-believe one, I don't, I don't remember. Uh, but the Vatican is presenting the queen, Queen Stacy, which is like goody two-shoe Vanessa Hudgen, of course, queen, you know, she has to be very respectful, um, with the star of light or star freedom star star something you guys i present to you the star of peace put on top of a tree okay but somebody steals the star <gasps> lord the first day you guys first day it's there the authorities rush to go tell queen margaret of the robbery there's no clues we don't know what's happening oh my goodness oh the vatican what are we gonna do with the star kind of deal everybody's going kind of crazy but like in a very calm way because again we're like talking royalty here they're not going on like ah you know like our poor people do the queen because you know she is of the queen after all you know has this brilliant queen moment if anyone knows the unseemly side of things it's my cousin fiona good news has arrived yeah that's pretty much what the the movie is about is trying to get this star back i mean you guys again this movie just kind of has like a bunch you know we're dealing with family family you know we gotta reconcile like mother daughter situation here we have of course a romance because we're romancing the star trying to steal the star back so there's like a lot of like spies and we're gonna train and have a whole entrapment moment happening here they did take like a, a page out of that movie there it's a lot of fun things happening you guys and made me laugh quite a bit and again if you are a fan of the first two then you're gonna be a fan of this one if you weren't a fan of that one you're not gonna be a fan of this it's just a fun little christmas Netflix movie. If you're a fan of Vanessa Hudgens again, you're gonna enjoy her. Are her accents the greatest? Absolutely not. But you can you have fun with 
um you guys put up with my like terrible accents you know whenever i throw them out to you i really thought an accent was gonna come out from there i'm not gonna lie and then of course we do have like the returning cast coming back so we, we i think we got everybody we had a a few new faces but for the majority of the part everybody from the first tube um were also in this one the villain is he great i know you don't expect like this high quality like maybe like 007 villain here no if you do she won you why would you expect that from a movie like this again this is supposed to be like a family friendly kind of movie before i do give you my score and how i rank these movies um if you haven't already give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each other to post something new and if you enjoy vanessa hudgens movies uh, then stick around because i uh, should be having tick tick booms review up in the next few days she's not like the main star there but she has like a part in that movie as well all right guys so princess switch 3 romancing the stars is a fun little christmas movie it's on netflix all three parts are on there again i do have a review for part two and if you're looking just for like a nice little christmas movie to just kind of like enjoy while you're drinking your cocoa your tea your coffee your whiskey whatever then i think you'll have a nice little time with this movie with that said i'm gonna give uh the princess switch romance in the stars a medium popcorn now as far as ranking them um third place would definitely be uh princess switch switched again and then we're gonna put romance in the stars and then of course what started all this wonderful little madness of triple d or start off with double the vanessa hudges and moving on to triple i i, I don't want four i don't want a quadruple princesses vanessa hudges i think three is enough uh but i do want a royal baby you guys <laughs> I do want a royal baby. Um, if you've seen Princess Switch switched again, let me know down below. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Um, have you seen the previous two? Have you not? Is it a little trilogy that you're maybe, if you haven't already seen it, planning on checking out? Or you're just like, you know what? I'm good, Stephanie. I'm good. I think I'll pass. All right, guys. That's it for me uh, tonight. Until next time, see you guys at concessions. Bye.